Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see the features of Xanadu release of ServiceNow. Let's begin the video. Homepage new design. As you can see on the screen, we have a new homepage design. With the help of this, we can open Creator Studio, we can open the App Engine Studio, we can open the integrated development environment from here. We can open the Workflow Studio, we can open the UI Builder, we can open the Mobile App Builder from this homepage design. Okay. Next, we have Refresh Menu Items button. So, if we click on All Navigation Menu, here you are going to see a button for refreshing the menu items. This is helpful when you install a plugin and you want to see the modules of that plugin. No need to log out and log in again. Instead, you can reuse Refresh Menu Items button. Next is Instance Tools button. That button will be available here. Right now, it is not available because it is dependent on a system property. So let's open the system property list. Click on all navigation menu. In the filter navigator type sys underscore properties dot list. Okay. Property name is this. Clyde UI next experience instance tools disabled. If you are not able to find this property, then we have to create this property. Right now, we are not able to find it. We are going to create it. Click on new button. Name of the property is this. Type will be true and false. And the value will be false. Because we have to make instance tools enabled. It is saying instance tools disabled. Okay. So we are going to submit it. Now, if we go back to our home page and refresh this, you can see that we have a button of show instance tools. When we click on this, we are going to see our application scope and update set here available. And if we click on this again, tools will be hidden. Okay. And these tools will stay here. If we go to a list of incidents, Okay, click on all. You can see our tools stays here. And we can check our application scope and we can check our update set from here. Let's go back to our home page. Next is user experience in preferences. So there is an addition of user experience in the preferences. So if we click on our profile icon, and go to preferences then you can see there is addition of user experience here if we click on this we have two functionality available here first is that you can change the start page there are options available these are the options available and you can set one of the option to change the start page of your instance next is enable analytics so whenever you get a new instance there is a model box appear for enabling analytics and there is a button to agree it so if you want to disable it you can disable it from here okay let us close our system properties list next is enabling igma script in scripting how we can do is that let's click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator type business rules okay in system definition click on business rules and click on new button now here as you can see if we click on advanced checkbox and we go to advanced section just before the scripting area or on the right side of the script field you can see a toggle button that is used to turn on ECMA script 2021 or ES12 mode. Okay. So it means is that when you turn this on, this particular script will support the latest features of JavaScript. Okay. For example, let's write here const user name equals to 
we need okay now you can see there is no error right now because it is supporting the latest features of javascript as soon as we turn off the ECMAScript functionality you can see there will be an error so if we turn this off see the scripting giving us an error because right now it is not supporting the latest features of javascript right now it is supporting the application javascript mode okay and you can see this from this help icon if you hover over it you can see turning on ECMAScript 2021 ES12 mode supports using the latest supported javascript features in this script if this is option is turned off you can use the features supported by the applications javascript mode only okay so if you want to to use latest features of javascript then you can turn on ECMAScript 2021 ES12 mode with the help of this toggle button your error will disappear and if you wanted to know more about what is ECMAScript there is a video on our channel you can watch this video to get the knowledge of what is ECMAScript okay let's go back to our home page next we are going to see inactivating and routing in service portal so let's open our service portals click on all navigation menu and here we are going to type portals and we are going to open this in a new tab and we are going to go to our service portal if we click on this you're going to see we have a field of inactive checkbox here once we click on it we are going to see alternative portal field available to us and in this field what we are going to do is that we are going to provide a service portal name so that once the user visit the service portal they will be redirected to different portal and that portal will be present here alternate portal so right now we are going to select employee center employee center okay and we are going to save this now we have the info message users accessing this portal will be redirected to employee center so let's access our service portal duplicate this tab and here we have to type sp as soon as we go to SP, that is service portal, we will be redirected to employee center. As you can see, there is a message being displayed to us. You are being redirected to employee center as the portal you attempted to access has been deactivated. Okay. So this functionality is helpful when the users have bookmarked the service portal. Okay and the user is accessing service portal with the help of that bookmark so whenever the user next time visit that service portal they will be redirected to preferred alternate portal which you have set here and as far as the experience while recording this video we were not able to see this alternate portal field once we clicked on inactive checkbox so there was a message being displayed please add the field enable certificate based authentication using form layout once you add this field in the form then you will be able to see the alternate portal this is the personal experience that has happened with us it can be the case it will not happen with you all but definitely there was a case while recording this video let's go back to our home page and close service portal page and employee center home page next is decision type field in access control so there is an addition of decision type field in access control let's elevate our role click on the profile icon and click on elevate role 
check the checkbox of security admin update click on all navigation menu in the filter navigator type access control in system security click on access control we are going to create a new access control click on new button now here you can see we have a new field that is called decision type and if this field by default is not available on the form layout you have to make the configuration to make this decision type available on the form decision type field have two values allow if and deny unless what is the use of allow if and deny unless let's see it with the help of an example let's assume that we are going to access the records of incident for allow if we have to read it like this users will be allowed to access the records of incidents if criteria of roles conditions and script conditions are satisfied if any one of this criteria is not satisfied then the user is not allowed to access the records of incident for deny unless user will be denied to access the records of incidents unless criteria of roles conditions and script conditions are satisfied it means initially the user will not have the access to the records of incidents but if they satisfy the criteria of roles conditions and script conditions then they will have the access to the records of incidents okay the difference between allow if and deny unless is that in allow if we are allowed to access the records if we satisfy the criteria in deny unless we are denied to access the records unless we satisfy the criteria if we satisfy the criteria then we are allowed to access it okay so this is the difference between allow if and deny unless let's go back to our home page so this is the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye